already. So here I've got a uh, a Note 5, and the customer is unable to access permissions uh, through his applications. Um, let me give you an example. Just go somewhere generic. Google Photos here. So this is where the issue is. Um, normally on an Android device, uh, you would just simply collect or select Allow, uh, and then it would allow you to, you know, set this as a default application. Unfortunately, what this is doing is just throwing us back into uh, the drawer over other apps, uh, and we're unable to make any changes here. So. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to pull all the photos, contacts, um, all the goodies out of this phone that I can. We're going to do a factory reset and hopefully the factory reset will allow us to set permissions uh, to this particular device. Uh, right now I am deleting all of the previous information that's saved to the flash drive that I'm going to use for this device. Show you guys some nifty little tricks that we've we've learned here. So the drive is completely empty. All right. So um, when you bought your Samsung device, you probably got you probably got one of these connectors here. Uh, that connector plugs into the micro USB slot here on the bottom of the device and it allows a USB to be connected. Um, you can connect a mouse to this. You can also connect a flash drive. This is something that I think everybody should know if you have an Android device, just because it's you know, an easy way to back up all of your, your information. So with the Samsung device, we are gonna go into My Files here. We're gonna go into Videos. He's currently got about three gigs of video. Long press, select all, more, move, and then we're going to pick the USB storage because we're about to do a factory reset. It would be uh, it would be pointless to put it to the device storage because it's about to be deleted. So I will just go in here. I'm going to label this file backup, and then done. So what that's going to do is it's going to move all of the video files from device storage into the uh, flash drive here. Once this is done, I will go into contacts and repeat the same process. Uh, for the sake of time and privacy, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'll come back to you as soon as all that stuff is done. Okay, we're back at it. So, videos, files, contacts, everything is saved to the Last drive here, now we're going to go through with the process of the factory reset. So Android devices, you go into your settings, this is your standard setting drawer on Samsung. Uh, we're going to go to backup and reset. Turn this off, just because I already have everything backed up, I don't need anything to uh, conflict. Factory data reset. Reset phone. Delete all information. And now we let it do its job. Hit the montage music.
reset has been complete, let's go through with the setup. It's always good to remove the Google account before you do a factory reset because otherwise you run the risk of a Google Lock device and a lot of customers uh, don't know their Google password. Uh, when that happens and you can't get into the device, as far as I know, there is no legal way around it. Uh, but, you know, when you cover your bases, you don't have anything to worry about. So as you can see here, it uh, gives me the options of what I would like to restore on the device. So because I already saved photos, videos, and music, I'm going to uncheck those uh, because I know that they're on this flash drive. Contacts is kind of iffy. Uh, sometimes it'll back up, sometimes it won't. Uh, sometimes files just don't like to transfer into the flash. So I'm going to allow the phone to do that on its own. Uh, and yeah, let's go. All right, so I'm gonna connect this flash drive back to the device. Okay. Back into Samsung folder, tools, my files. No files have such a bad time with the uh, charging port, so I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Alright, so it recognizes the flash drive now. We go into our backup folder. Select all, undo the audio, misspell audio. I'm gonna time crunch, I'm not really too worried about it. Move, device storage, DCIM, and drop. Alright, so if everything worked appropriately, uh, it's going to move all the files that I moved into the flash drive over to the device. Uh, the contacts will be backed up, hopefully. I've got my fingers crossed. Um, I'm not going to hold my breath, though. I did see that it was backed up through the Verizon setup and as well as through his Gmail account. So once the customer logs into his Gmail account, uh, it'll sync all the contacts that aren't already there. Uh, he'll be able to go into the Play Store, download the applications that he uh, originally had on the device. I'm going to recommend that he uh, pick and choose, you know, which applications he puts back on his device because we believe that one of those applications that was on this is what caused it to uh, not be able to set permissions. Generally, when we come across issues like this, uh, it is there's this application called Clean Master that has just swept the internet. Uh, Clean Master, uh, regardless of what you see on Facebook, I, I do not recommend it at all. Uh, Clean Master essentially takes permissions for the entire phone and then runs uh, runs the phone through another browser. So the phone already has a security feature on it, Samsung Knox. Uh, the phone also is programmed to uh, limit cache and background data and all that stuff, all the things that Clean Master says it's doing, the device is actually already doing on its own and it's just monitoring that. Um, the conflict of interest comes when you have Face Android, TouchWiz, and Clean Master all trying to do the, the same thing at the same exact time. 
So you essentially have three cores doing the same process simultaneously with no benefit whatsoever. Clean Master is not a good application. Do not download it on your phone. Uh, if you have a flagship phone like a Note, um, one of the Samsung devices, uh, high quality pixels, uh, you know, all the, the flagship phones. If you're watching this, you already know what a flagship phone is. Uh, those phones already run these programs by themselves. If you get a budget phone, I'm, I can't say that it's beneficial. I can't say that it's, uh, it's damaging, but everything here looks good. Let's check it out, see if all the photos are here. Looks like all his photos are here. Family friendly. Uh, let's go and see if his contacts came over. Oh, look at that. Contacts all came in. Looks like he actually got doubled. It's just kind of, kind of bad. Uh, these highlighted are going to be all his backup. And then these down here are going to be the doubles. I'm going to let him go through and delete the doubles. Uh, just so that I, he knows who's important, who's not important, uh, and who he wants on his phone. He's a savvy guy, I'm going to let him do that on his own. But as you can see here, uh, the flash, the, or the factory reset has been a success. Let's go ahead and try to change a permission. Bam. So there obviously was an application on the device that was preventing him from uh, being able to set permissions. As you saw in the beginning of the video, I wasn't able to get this far. Uh, it looks like everything's going good. I'm gonna actually go ahead and cancel that. Uh, phone's ready to go. Another uh, successful repair by Cellular Mechanics.